Dan Bird is a senior analyst at Green Tech Research, which investigates when in, which invests in alternative energy. So listen to I'm this. I'm going to have to leave this. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> Don't hit me. Don't hurt me. Dan, I, I'm just playing. Let, let, well, let's talk about this bill if it actually does get passed. You you invest in alternative energy. So as you take a look at what this bill has in it, what might happen, which alternative energy form do you think gets the biggest benefit? Sure. Well, any cap-and-trade bill is going to act as a penalty on carbon emissions. And therefore, under a cap-and-trade system, uh, utilities and energy companies that have high exposure to low-carbon technologies should have a competitive advantage. Uh, two renewable energies that are already capable of providing a significant portion of our national energy needs are wind and solar thermal. Uh, now, over the next few years, I think that wind and solar thermal will start to approach grid parity with traditional uh, power plant technologies, even in the absence of favorable regulation. Grid parity, meaning they're going to be supplying just as much energy as the uh, traditional at, at relatively comparable costs, uh, meaning that it won't be a, a significant added expense to use these renewable energies above something like a, a coal-fired plant or a natural gas-fired plant. Um, I also think nuclear will, will also do well under a cap-and-trade system because of its low-carbon profile. Which, which energy form gets shellacked, gets hit the hardest by this legislation? Who's going to suffer the most? Probably uh, utilities and companies that are very heavily dependent on coal. Coal has the highest carbon content of any fuel available, and therefore it should really suffer the most in terms of having uh, to cover new emissions allowances for those emissions from coal. I think you might see a lot of utilities switch to natural gas. Mm -hmm. uh, one utility in general that we think has done an excellent job of transitioning towards a low carbon generation portfolio in advance of a bill like this is Florida Power and Light, FPL. Uh, it's the largest wind farm developer and power generator in America. It's also a leader in solar thermal development. A lot of people are familiar with wind farms, but not the solar thermal plants. Uh, these are plants that use parabolic mirrors to focus sunlight on receiver tubes filled with oil or water uh, that power a steam turbine, much like conventional power plants. They can be scaled up to hundreds of megawatts, and F uh, Florida Power and Light has 20 years' experience operating such plants in the Mojave Desert, where it is currently planning to construct a 250 megawatt facility. You know, Dan, what happens if oil prices drop substantially? Let's say we see a big drop off oil falls black below $75 a barrel are these still good buys at that point or is it no longer going to be a situation where you're seeing solar power coming on that doesn't have a significant increase of cost yeah well I think a lot of the the, the benefits of, of these uh, renewable energies at scale as the technology improves over the next few years is they're not really going to be subsidy dependent forever or really dependent on high oil prices forever certainly in the near term high oil prices will what's will, the near term help. the next five years or the uh, uh, the, next years, the, next years, the next two to three years, the next two to three years. The marginal plants that come online from the utility decision, uh, if oil drops, then they may, uh, may choose to turn on a marginal plant to meet peak power demand by firing up a diesel uh, power generator. Uh, but for the most part, I think that a cap and trade bill will eventually take place, will eventually come into form over the next few years. A lot of the details have still yet to be worked out, and that'll determine just how large the carbon penalty is and therefore how you, much in You think Warner Lieberman's going to pass? Is it the feeling that it will pass? I don't think that Warner Lieberman, as written right now, will pass. I think there'll be a number of compromises, how strict the actual overall cap is set. Uh, what the time frame for reducing the cap and, and the target emissions that are set uh, for future periods, uh, how much auctioning will take place as opposed to freely allocating emissions uh, to amongst the utilities and, and other regulated industries, uh, and what to do with the revenues from, from, from that auctioning, which was uh, an issue that was being discussed previously. Mm -hmm. right. uh, so there are a number of details that do have to be worked out. Dan, thank you. Thank you.